Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're back from holiday now, we've been on holiday, you never know because we posted up the videos when we were on holiday. So how organised is that? So we're back from holiday and today we're going to make a red Leicester and cheddar pizza which is actually in the new cookbook or the new recipe book which is called the Vegetarian Pizza Oven. And we're giving a copy of this away, we're going to do that for a few weeks in a row in our videos. So if you uh, leave a comment say you'd like to win a copy then we'll, we'll pick one person at random from this video to uh, win a copy and then in the next video we'll give away another one so there we go there's a chance to win it and it's got recipe for this pizza we're about to make in it so available on amazon kindle paperback and hardback so check that out right okay let me put that out of the way and we'll get on with pizza right this one we're going to be making is a red Leicester and cheddar as I said it's quite simple the only difference from most of our pizzas we make is it's no mozzarella on it but it's quite nice if you like cheese on toast you're going to love this one I'm telling you because it's kind of like a cheese and toast pizza isn't it Lisa? Mm -hmm. we like cheese and toast right okay so we've got a tomato one next I'm going to put the cheddar first I said that really weird there cheddar I mean, right, okay. There's a cheddar. Spread that about a bit. A bit more. Okay, red glister next. Sorry if my f watch is pinging. Someone always decides to call when you're making a pizza, don't they? Right, okay, so there's a nice red Leicester and cheddar pizza. That was simple, wasn't it? This is going to taste so good. So let's put it on the peel and put it in that oven. Nice. Okay, I should have said, we did actually want to make this one a little bit crispier. And that's why when it was cooking there, you could see that there wasn't too much of a flame. So it sort of gives it that nice crispy edge to it, which is really nice. As you can see, it's got lovely colours. That's what happens when you're using the red list on the mixture of cheddar, which is sort of tagger printed all around it rather than the mozzarella. And it's just got to taste delicious. So let's taste it. Okay, so this red Leicester I chose is actually 18 months matured, so it's a bit stronger than the red Leicester and that you would just buy a bit cheaper. It's absolutely delicious. Yeah, it tastes like cheese and toast with a bit of tomato mixed in. Look at that base. That's absolutely brilliant and cooked, it's amazing. The secret to that was to preheat your oven for about an hour. Let it go down to about 400, 450 degrees and then You've got perfect base that's cooked then and then the cheese doesn't get too crispy either. It's gorgeous. What can I say? Give it a try. Red Leicester cheddar. Easy, simple, tasty. Like, subscribe. Leave a comment if you want a chance to win the book. We'll see you next time. Bye.